Celtic prepare to unleash a big bid for a Slovenian striker. Yes, guys, Fog Football back again with another bit of transfer news. And we're looking at Celtic today in our morning video. By the time it gets uploaded, it might be the afternoon. Who knows? But Celtic are considering a bid for Maribor striker San Fibidonic. The Botnik. San Fibid... San Fibid... San Fibidonic. Fibidonic. I think that's it. That's what we're going for. That's the final verdict. But face competition from other clubs, including Dynamo Zagreb, for the 21-year-old, who's likely to cost around 3.5 million. So Celtic, looking at this guy, they don't want this guy. Who knows? Of course, he's a striker. So therefore, makes you think that are they not up to? Are they not? They do not think that the big man. Oh, is good enough to be number two? I mean, do they really need three of these guys? Who knows? But if we actually want to look at his season last year for the mighty Marabor. Well, I mean, in terms of Marabor, he has 20 goals and 49 appearances, which is not exactly the most spectacular. Um, I guess uh, he has played two games for Slovenia. He's got one goal, so he's, he's on the up. He only has 21, of course. Um, he became the second youngest player to score for Slovenia, only behind Sisko at the age of 21 years and five days. So it looks definitely like one for the future. And you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and say this would probably be a decent signing for Celtic. But it would be interesting to see what would happen with O. Not for Ahashi, but O. Would it be O oh shit? For O. Albion Ajeti has returned to Celtic after Storm Grass confirmed they've turned in the chance to sign the 26 year old striker permanently after a disappointing loan spell. You'll never forget when Albion Ajeti had like a good half an hour against Real Betis and John Hartson said he was unplayable and, com and compared them to R9. Didn't watch that game, but you know what? I'll never forget that quote for John Hartson. So. Looks like Storm Gross aren't going to take up the opportunity. Will Celtic ever get rid of Albina Jetty? Will Albina Jetty be a mainstay? I mean, of course, it wasn't an Ange signing. It was a Neil Lennon during 10 in a row signing um, and quickly turned into pain, damn it. It didn't turn out too well for them. And then uh, finally, in terms of Celtic today, we've got AK Athens have told Levy Garcia that he will not be allowed to leave the Greek club this summer amid rumoured interest from Celtic in the 25-year-old. So, yeah, there's been a lot of interest in there from Celtic. But, I mean, just because someone's told they're not going to be able to leave doesn't mean they're not going to be leaving. Because guess what, guys? In the transfer window, my talks. Bullshit walks. That's pretty much it. And I think, you know, this could very easily be persuaded. But again, are Celtic really going to go balls deep here for Levy Garcia? Probably not. But for, for San Fupatotnik, um, that could happen. Would he rather go to Dynamo Zagreb? Potentially, but uh, I think... Because maybe with Zagreb, he's going to be starting. I just don't see how this guy starts. I mean, maybe in a few years. Like 21, like. And maybe that's what he's going for. But... Uh, Maribor, there's a lot of better teams than Maribor floating about, if we're being honest. So it'll be interesting to see what he can do. But that's it, guys. That's going to do it for this video. Celtic, prepare £3.5 million pound bid for San for Potnik. So I leave your thoughts down below. Fog Football sign out. We'll be back later with some transfer news, of course. Build up for a few games this week. Uh, when, when the Potnik Thistle and Ross County play, is that the night? That might be the night. Um, it's on Sky for some reason. So it's weird. Well, I mean, I'm happy it's on Sky. I mean, you should be milking. You should be milking every game you can out of that TV deal. But it's what it is. But anyway, trips to all in peace.